It's Memorial Day 2020. I'm doing another garden tour. This is Rosa Moisei geranium. We saw this in bloom at Sissinghurst 25 years ago. And it blooms for a very short time period in June, but it's really a lovely rose. One of the few that we grow. Uh, you can see some of our peonies. Most of these were here when we moved in. We've moved them all around, but they were Joe and Kate's peonies from her father, who was a real gardener up in Vancouver, BC. Um, they're blooming a little bit late this year, interestingly enough. We had a very cold, wet May. The time period where the peonies would have mostly bloomed was wet, so they didn't. But now they're doing really well. Um, some of our garden art from our favorite glass artist, Sarah Morrissey. Go around the side. And look down the side yard. The bowling alley effect. The coral bells are doing really well this year. And uh, you can see some of one of the clematis on the left and some of our columbines on the right. Take a look at the columbine bed. The hummingbirds really like the columbines. Right, all the trees have leafed out since you were last here. The hostas have leafed out. Oh, here's a special plant. This is an orchid that we grow. One of the few orchids you can grow outside here. Another view of our coral bells and hostas. A view of the heucheras and the hostas from the deck. And the ferns. Some of our garden art, including the heron, where the wrens nested last May. And here's a view looking back the other way. Going through the gate to the front yard. These are called giant stipa. And they do a beautiful, beautiful grass this time of year. See the flowers are out. I always bring this into class and did a video on it this year because the flowers are so large for grass you can see all the parts that are usually too tiny to see. All right, let's go out to the street. All right, so now we're looking at the Hulk side of the garden. You can see some more peonies. All right, the California poppies are doing really well this year. It's the orange. Um, some of the red hot pokers that we grow. This plant called helianthemum. If we actually planted these when we bought the house 29 years ago there um, and put them in on the side so they're doing really well it's a plant I loved in Israel and said it would do well here and it has we used to have multiple colors this is the only one that's really persisted oh, another favorite is the fox the foxtail lily aramuris this typically blooms on Sarah's birthday but like a lot of things it's a couple weeks early this year and now she would traditionally have this for graduation in mid-june around the front some more. This area is where we had a lilac that Sarah started from a twig from a lilac in the backyard about in 25 plus years ago and it grew into a nice tree but um, it blew over in a windstorm about 
two or three weeks ago. So you can see we've cleared out some of the area around it and are deciding what to plant there. More, yes, the California poppies. More red hot pokers. Another view of the front garden. This is a Dianthus, a carnation from a neighbor, and it's done really well here. This is called Baloda, and it's a mint family, and it's made a nice ball. Gabiosa is doing really well right now. And a mixture of things over here. Let's go back and look this way. I walked across the street to get a view at a distance so you can see where we've come from. This is our diorama, Angel's Fishing Wand, that's uh, just coming into bloom. It'll bloom for a couple months now. And the pink is Agrostoma, another favorite flower of ours that we discovered in San Francisco 30 years ago and really enjoy growing. It's also native to Israel and I had discovered it growing in the Golan, where it hadn't been known before. This is another view of the Aramiris. Oh, there's a fun, interesting iris over here. Come around to the vegetable garden. Peas are doing well. Just had harvested 14 this morning. And here's my lettuce patch, which has been happy with all the rain and cool weather we've had. And here you can see the garlic, not as happy. It sort of turned yellow, but it should be fine for the bulbs. Here's another iris. One more favorite plant. This is verbascum. I hope you enjoyed this tour of our garden, Memorial Day 2020.